Live Jerome Party Studio. Live Jerome Harden Studio. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the last of my discast. I will say about so you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll see you later. What's up on JR? You sure alright? Let's get started. Today's topic we're going to be talking about is the downfall of the average American worker. And what I mean by that is um, if you have been out of your house or been going to work or, you know, going to your jobs or do whatever, you see a lot of signs around uh, fast food restaurants and other uh, restaurant chains such as uh, Burger King and even Walmart because uh, retails um, put up a lot of now hiring signs too. Um, Ten years ago, when the uh, economy was bad, um, no one could find a job, even at re uh, fast food restaurants and um, retail stores. You know, a lot of these people that have been uh, working, uh, making six figures, have been going back to these uh, restaurant and uh, retail store jobs just to get by and stuff. So, younger people in that age group couldn't find jobs back then and now um fast forward to 2020 when the uh, coronavirus took over everything and shuttered a lot of stores and jobs across the country uh, nobody else couldn't find jobs because you know everybody was short staffed and everybody had to be let go um so what i mean by that is um when people lost their job people couldn't find any source of income um and they're uh, waiting for a stimulus check because they couldn't find jobs so um yeah and that goes for small businesses too that you know they've been struggling just like everybody else so um when uh retail stores and restaurants had to cut back on some people because you know they can't pay it because not enough money is going in because you know a lot of people don't want to go out to restaurants and retail stores anymore. They rather just do DoorDash. Um, they have uh, to go to Walmart just to go pick up their stuff. They have people, you know, bring stuff out of the store and load it up into their car. That's how people do it right now. And even people uh, have groceries delivered to their home. So that's the major part that contributes to uh, job losses and all that stuff. So, yeah. I mean, 2020 sucks. And now... Fast forward, now, restaurants and retail stores are now wanting people back on these positions, working on these, on these out on the floor, uh, make sure meat is stocked up and all the toilet tissue paper, as well as restaurants, you know, get on the line and make the food. But there wasn't enough people to do that. So what do restaurants and retail stores or other minimum wage jobs do? What do they do when they couldn't find workers or encourage workers to come in? They raise hourly wages like it's no tomorrow. And not only those groups are trying desperately to find workers, other industries are trying to find workers too. Even cleaning, uh, industry, uh, production jobs, you know, any kind of jobs. I mean, you know, those six-figure jobs, you know, like... Say, for instance, between the six-figure job and the minimum wage job, um, you know, the minimum wage job, they don't hire because they want you. They hire because they need you. Six-figure jobs, such, such as if you're making $600,000 a year and all that stuff, um, they want you because you're intelligent. They know you can do the job, and they know that you got a good degree and bachelor's, master's, and all that stuff, so... Um, that right there, um, uh, between those two groups, um, just think of it, um, when you go apply for an application for a six-figure job, um, not only do you need to fill out an application, they most, they make you do it online mostly, but if you go fill out an application, you also need a resume. Now, if you applied, like, going to McDonald's and all that stuff, all you need is an application. You don't even need a resume. Um, a resume is a plus. I mean, I understand that, but most likely you don't need a resume. But if 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 
any retail store um, asks for an application, sometimes they ask for a resume, but 9 out of 10 times, they don't ask for a resume. Retail stores and fast food job because they know you're not intelligent enough for me. I mean, like, college, like, um, you know, we're going to talk about, like, we're going to talk about the beginning of minimum wage when um, it wasn't always 725, like, um, when I uh, went. We're going to talk about the uh, timeline of minimum wage in the next newscast, but right now, we need to talk about this issue about uh, a lot of places are hiring, but the problem is, like, nobody don't want to work, and you know why nobody doesn't want to work? It's because of the stimulus checks, because of the big handouts that the government is giving us, like, say for instance, 2020, we got our first stimulus check, 1200 Now, Fast forward December 2020. We got the $600 stimulus check. I mean, most of us or some of us still didn't get it and we're still depending on the money, but we don't want to fill out an application because we're too lazy. And now, fast forward to March, we get another 1400 So, we still waiting on that money for most of us and we still don't want to get a job even though a lots of places are opening their doors to us, and as for me, um, really, I don't need a job because I own my own business that's doing good right now. But anyways, um, like fast forward um, to business owners. So we get a um, another bailout called uh, the PP loan, which people are calling it a scam, which is not. People out there are. Filling out bogus applications and they're um, taking out tens and thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And we're going to talk about that next time in another newscast when PP loan is not a scam. People are making it a scam and then um, all of a sudden um, when we don't want to work these jobs, we don't want to um, apply and then we get handouts. I mean... That is the problem. I mean, you got to realize this, people. Um, once the money runs out and you don't have any more, and then all of a sudden, all these business, businesses are saying, we're not hiring, we're not hiring, then you're going to go back to the same boat that you was before because you're not playing smart with your money. You got you to gotta be smart. You got to invest. You got to pay your bills and all that stuff. Do what you need to do while you still have the money to pay your bills and all that stuff. Don't just, you know, act all rich and stuff. That's the problem in today's society. People don't want to work. People got money, but they're getting handouts. And then all of a sudden, they want to act rich. They want to show off. They want to buy luxury cars. They want to be like all these celebrities. Go. They want to go call Kim Kardashian. And once that money runs out, you go back to Section 8. You begging, you crying, all that stuff, and you playing the victim because they're not helping you enough when you had that money when you had a chance, and you need to, all that you need to do that the necessity stuff with that money to pay your bills, to get yourself out of debt. So if you had the money and you showing off in front of people, then why are you not spending it on bills when you had a chance to get yourself? Out of debt. That's not what I'm getting here. And then on top of that, you are sitting on your butts all day while people are getting applications. And, you know, a lot of places that are hiring right now are opening their doors to y'all. And you don't even want to work there anymore. I mean, I even heard rumors that people are quitting for a 14 hundred dollar stimulus checks people are quitting their jobs for handouts i mean what if that money runs out and you don't even have a job to go to to make that money back you see what i'm saying you know you looking for handouts and you quitting for that fourteen hundred dollar stimulus check that go probably going to last a week or a few days and then once that money runs out then 
I mean, you are not going to go back to work like that. I mean, you're going to have to fill out an application again. You're going to have to wait on that call, or they're not even going to want you back anyway because you quit on that job and you left them hanging. I mean, what kind of bullshit excuse is that? What kind of bitch move is that? Really, people? Come on. I mean, 2021, I mean, 2020 was bad enough, and now here we are in 2021, and we're going backwards as American people, Um, and you are depending on the government to keep giving you handouts and all that stuff. I mean, I am... I mean, I'm okay with the government giving, helping us out for a while. I mean, I, I'm happy that the government is doing, doing their jobs trying to bail us all out so we can get back to normal. But really, quitting, their, quitting, our, our, quitting jobs over $1,400 stimulus checks and you don't, people don't want to hire and people don't want to go to work now. Um, sorry I'm stuttering, but people don't want to go to work now and you just, just sitting on your butts waiting on a steel check and then you spending it like you're rich and you try to go Kardashian with your money. I mean, I mean, this is like, I mean, I'm very disappointed in American people, really. I mean, like, you, it, it's like, like now the government's taking advantage of y'all. They're being selfish. And now, once you get your money and you are just relaxing, you know, just enjoying your time off, you know, and then once your former job opened the doors back up and they call you and say, no, nah, I'm good. I don't want to go back to work. I got my money. You know, money's going to last me for a long time. I mean, especially you got kids, really. I mean, you know, like the $1,400 stimulus checks, you know, it's, it's going to it's going to decline uh, pretty quickly, especially when you have bills or outstanding debt. You know, you know, them debt collectors can get your money. For real, you know, you know that, right? You know, debt collector can get your money, you know, they can take it, you know, and you ask uh, the IRS, hey, where's my, where's my uh, stimulus check? Where's my refund? You know, and then come to find out, you know, that money is going to that debt collectors, you know, so if you're expecting that stimulus check and you quit that job, you know, pretty much for nothing or, you know, you go quit your job for a $1,400 stimulus check that you got, and still, it's nothing, and you know, you know, that money can go down pretty quick, you know, that's what I'm saying to y'all, you know, it's the truth, really, I mean, quitting your job for just little money that's gonna last for a few days, I mean, that's not worth it, people, um, so, like I'm saying, I mean, just don't take advantage of the government and just cry about it when the money runs out, I mean, if you couldn't find a job and it went, I mean, I don't understand why you couldn't get a job when a lot of doors are op opening up. I mean, like, say, for instance, Burger King's hiring, Walgreens is hiring, I mean, Applebee's is hiring. I mean, if I go out right now um, in Huntsville, Alabama, you see a lot of now hiring signs on, um, on billboards, uh, you see a lot of picket signs on the front of, of the property. You see um, now hiring signs on the windows, you know. I mean, seriously, people. Stop being lazy and stop taking advantage of people who pay taxes, you know, just, to, you know, to get by and all that stuff. You know that... Um, or that stimulus check and it's not gonna last you a long time. You know that, right? And um uh, and when I get to the newscast about that PP loan, boy, y'all gonna be surprised what I have to say because some people are taking advantage of this uh, uh opportunity. They are turning tens thousands into six hundred thousand dollars and this one woman had Three point seven million dollars in her account. She filling out bogus applications. She bought a lot of houses. She bought luxury cars, you know. And then she got charged for it. So, um, and anyway, you know, you can get thirty year up to thirty years in prison for you know fraudulent charges, right? So that's what I'm going to talk about in the next newscast. And like I said, don't be selfish. Don't be lazy. And you know, when all these uh, places are hiring right now you need to take advantage and fill out applications and all that stuff so um yeah 
And if you looked at all this stuff up, like, a lot of places are having a hard time finding a lot of workers. You can look that up and see for yourself. I mean, I'm not kidding. You know, people just don't want to work. So, yeah, that's my input on this today's topic. And uh, I hope you enjoy this newscast. But um, there is plenty more newscasts that going to be coming up. So be on the lookout for that. So I'm going to sign off for now. So I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I am out. Peace.